My name is Mike. We're at Highland Hill Farm, and this afternoon we're going to be trimming some of these eastern red cedars. We put these guys in the ground last year, and it's the first time we're going to start shearing them. The idea of what we're going to be shearing them is we're going to try to make them a little bit more dense and compact, and if there's a second leader, we'll trim off the second leader. So this is the eastern red cedar. Of course, it's a little bit that color. That's what they are this time of year. And uh, we're going to go through first and just uh, lightly prune the tips of these guys back. And what this will do is that when the snow load comes, there won't be as much branching there, so they'll have less snow damage and ice damage to it. We're just going to take off the top of it a little bit, and we should be good to go on it. There is a little bit of a hole on this side here, but if we trim it down like this, That'll force growth in on that area, and we should be good to go to fill that in. That's all that we really need to do on these guys. It's real simple, real easy. So we'll go on to the next one. Again, it's real simple, real easy. Cut off these guys a little bit. Now, this is a little annoying, so we should get rid of these weeds. But if we just trim the sides of these a little bit, that's sweep. He's stick happy. If we just trim the sides of these a little bit and trim that top, that should force the bottom to grow out a little bit more. So that's a good one. Now this one here, we have a little problem. You can see right off the bat that there is two two leaders to it. So we'll uh, take your handy dandy cutters and we'll go down pretty hard. It depends on how what you think of it, but I usually cut about there, and that will take care of that leader. Eventually, this one will become the main without a problem, no problem whatsoever. And, uh, now, if you didn't do that, what would ultimately happen to this bush? Well, it depends on a lot of different things, but I would say for sure that uh, if it had not died, it would have grown up into two of them. And Eastern Red Cedar is such a hardy tree that it probably would survive with a double leader on that. But we always like having single leaders. Mostly because when the snow hits, we want to make sure that it's strong and structurally secure. It's not going to break and bend over. All right, we'll do the next one. Again, there's a little weed there. I don't really like them too much, but it's okay. We're going to tip this one real lightly. And we're going to come down on the sides. And we should be good together. We have eastern red cedars from small seedlings to large trees. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. We have lots of small seedlings and transplants if you want small ones, and we have some that are bald and burlapped up to about five to six foot. You can reach us at 215-651-8329. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you.